Facing up to the gate. Motown Lady to the inside gate. Motown Lady in. Autumn Flower in. Vale Dory coming up. Here's Stella Wind. Faithfully to complete the lineup. Faithfully in, all set. And away they go. Autumn Flower broke a little awkwardly. Vale Dory quick into stride, been joined by Stella Wynn. They'll go on to lead the Motown Lady tucked in at the rail in third. Faithfully's on the outside and Autumn Flower, the early trailer, only four lengths covers the lot. They head to the three-quarter pole and Vale Dory out setting a good pace out here, leads it by a length. Stella Wind is right there in second. Motown Lady tucked in at the rail in third, been followed then by Faithfully, only two and a half covers those four, and the early trailer Autumn Flower. On to the back stretch they go, and Vale Dory continues to show the way. Stella Wind right there alongside. Only a length and a half back to Motown. Lady tucked in third. Alongside comes Faithfully in the black cap, and still the trailer Autumn Flower, but only four lengths covers the lot. No change in this order. All riders appear happy with their situation. Just under a half mile to go. And Vale Dory continues to lead. Stella Wind keeps the pressure on second. Motown Lady tucked in third. Faithfully's only two off them. And Autumn Flower sent for an early run on the far side. They are coming towards the quarter pole now, and it's still Vale Dari and Stella Wynn. They are head and head with a quarter of a mile to go. It's two lengths back to Faithfully, and then Motown Lady. Top of the lane, Stella Wind on the outside and Vale Dory still nose and nose, nothing separating them. Here comes Faithfully now to take them on on the outside. Homeward bound and it's Vale Dory and Stella Wind. Stella Wind the advantage, Vale Dory battles on. Stella Wind had a call on all her class and Stella Wind won it ahead. Stella Wind to Vale Dory, neither one would give an inch. Faithfully third, then Motown Lady and Autumn Flower. The unofficial result, winner number three, Stella Wind. Second number two, Vale Dari. Third number six, Faithfully. And fourth was number one, Motown Lady.
in the winner's circle to make the presentation for today's Clement Hirsch Stakes. Delmar is very pleased to have with us the son of the man honoured by the presentation of this event. We welcome to the winner's circle, Bo Hirsch. In today's ninth race, scratch numbers 1, 11, 13 and 14. Now in the winner's circle is the official winner of the Grade 1 Clement L. Hirsch Stakes, number 3, Stella Wind. She's a five-year-old chestnut mare by Curlin out of Evening Star. She's owned by Heronis Racing. Winning trainer is John Sadler. The winning rider, Victor Espinosa. The winner was bred in Virginia by Keswick Stables and Stone Street Thoroughbred Holdings.